here I am again, red hot, they've taken all the grass off this field so I'm going to give this a bash today I had a phew, pretty, pretty hot day yesterday so I just couldn't be bothered I found one or two things right but anyway I've got a new lad that's new to detecting he's got a Tesoro Calibra is it Calibra or something like that I don't know but he's coming up and he wants hand setting it up he wants hand setting it up so I told him you know I've got a, I've just taken the grass off a field if you fancy coming up get yourself up and I'll, I'll try and help you out I don't know if I'll give the right advice like but come on to do my best for him get him sorted out plus if I let him have a go on this field here because some mammoth have come over here if I let give him a bash on this field I reckon if he finds some land he's going to invite me on because he doesn't seem a bad lad actually he seems all right you sort of know though your 30, I call it the 30 second the 30 second period of meeting someone you know within 30 seconds whether they're a knobhead or the decent fork and he turns out to be in the first 30 seconds so this is where I'm at then nice nice big field and there's been uh, there must have been I think there's been about eight hammock come off this field that house there was the one you see it that house there was the one that was saying it was 16th century uh, 17th century but it was built in the 1600s but I have had I'm a doubt of here, I've had one Edward, oh god look at these, right, see them, the nuts, these, these are nuts, they're absolutely bonkers, if, he's, if they eat me a day they're going to get it, they are going to, bugger off, bugger off, go on, see the thing what you've got to do, you've got to sort of ignore them, but the farmer's just been in and he's told me, look at look, this, look, go away, Go and get your own land, go on, bugger off. <laughs> Excuse me old girlfriends. <laughs> they are absolutely nuts these, it's going to be fun when Rob comes up. He's going to love it, because he'll, he'll absolutely muck his pants. There's a bull here and all, I've just been talking to the farmer and the farmer said, they're alright, they won't bother you, they're just a bit frisky because they've got a new field to run around in. But the one to watch for is the bull, and the bull, it's just over there in the white that's the bull the white one the white one that's running between them trees now that that apparently he said it, it it's okay just hit it with a stick that's what farmer said if it gets on your nerves if it comes near you and starts and starts like <coughs> try to eat you or anything like that just hit it with a stick mental anyway got me e-track i'm putting it back in there uh, andy uh, what's his name? It's Andy Sebashi's Sabash, Andy Sebashi's program today. Going to give it a whirl in Andy Sebashi's program because I, I think that's there. Uh, with this being ploughed and the grass is off, it's pretty sure. I'm going to give that a bash. Going to give that a try. I quite like that program. Nothing wrong with Neil's program. Nothing wrong with uh, slow and low. But I just feel like I'm finding. I don't know. I seem to be finding a bit more with Andy's program. So what I'll do, I'll give them both a bash actually, I'll give this one an hour, give the other program an hour that I've got in, and uh, by that time I think Rob will be here and I'll, I'll let you have a chat to Rob I think, see what he thinks of uh, metal detecting because he's a newbie, alright, so I'll catch you later folks, let me turn this off, Bink. are we off, are we on, oh god don't tell me, I'm not going to believe this, alright, I've had, to, I've had to run back to the bag to get the camera but I washed it first and all that but I knew I've been from see that bag you see that bag over there right I've gone from there to here right and what I was doing I was all I wanted to do was go down this line and I wanted to go as close as I possibly could to the building because that's like well, uh, that was built in 1600 and something right I just, I turned it on, what, 20, 20 feet away, 20 feet away, something like that, turned it on 20 feet away, walked across to here, brilliant signal, listen to the signal, look, water, washed it, water, Stab's supposed to be drinking, not supposed to be washing, listen, can't miss that, couldn't miss that signal, even if I wanted to, just went bang, right on the button, and it's look look it's only 
it's only that deep it's only two inches deep. anyone could have had it but we've been we've been on this field i've been down this area with the gold mice I've been down here, I've done this because I found a nice, uh, what looks like a milled coin of Elizabeth, this is hammered, and it's 15, 70 watt, look at that, what is it, a sixpence, is it a sixpence, you can see that, you can open the light, what is that, is it, it's a sixpence isn't it, that's too big to be anything else, man, this is like unbelievable, I can't believe I am finding this many hammered coins in such a short space of time. It's unbelievable. I mean, I'm absolutely... Oh, Jesus, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right. The gold max, I think, will be getting sold. I think. Although, I don't know. This, this has got to be brilliant on Parland as well. I only got this for the beach. <laughs> That's just changed dramatically. I cannot believe this. Right, I'm gonna, I'm, you must be getting sick of seeing these now. Right, I'm gonna uh, turn the camera off and I'm gonna have another go. I wanna put the camera in the bag so I know that I'll have to leg it down the field again. Unbelievable. And I washed it, the guys on the Mine Lab owners forum. I washed it before I shown it and I should have, I should have. I didn't think it was, uh, it gives the same, similar, similar to a, a, a ring pull. You know what I mean? But I'm using Andy Sabashi's, right? But I've taken it out of auto and I've turned the sensitivity right up, banged it right up, and it's it's all right, it's not chattering around or out. Just the odd the odd little squeak and that lot. But brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, right. Catch you later folks. Can't wait till Rob comes with he says this, he's gonna go. He's gonna be he's oh god. I hope he finds one now. I hope when he comes he finds one. I hope he does, because I don't mind now, I've got, I've got one, I'm quite happy. Catch you later folks, I am now going to attempt a live dig, right, the thing is, right listen to this, now through the speakers that sounds exactly the same, right, exactly the same, as what the uh, that Elizabeth first coin was so this is a first for me right it's just a ball egg isn't it so I'm gonna attempt to dig the bugger up alive let's have a look this is gonna be our work but by rights it shouldn't be very deep all I've been doing, because the ground's pretty hard as well, so all I've been doing is, uh, you know what I mean, just taking the, not going all the way in with the spade, because I don't need to. Right, it's usually around about the depth they've been coming up. Oh, that sounds good to me. So, let's have a feel about it. Oh, I'm going to have to put the camera down, folks. Right, I'm going to put the camera down, I'll try, see what happens. I'll try and get the best I can. Wait. Lordy lordy. Oh lordy lordy lordy. Oh lordy lordy. God I must have been on the surface. What if it was under that? There we go. What is it now? <coughs> Looks like one of them Scottish ones I've already had there. Uh, two I've had two of these on here already. It is. It's one of them Scottish I don't know what it is though. Is it Charles? Is it a Charles uh, 20 pence, is it? 20 pence piece. But 
that is number two off here and I've only travelled not far not far but I'm right near this oh we missed these I can't believe oh, we're missing these with the uh, the other machines that have been on this e-track I absolutely I'm sick of saying it now I'm not going to say it anymore I'm not saying it anymore because this e-trap is crap all it does is find I'm a silver oh Jed I might get you on here Jed but Rob came my mate Rob well young lad who's uh, just started off he's going to be seeing us later he's not going to believe this he's not going to believe it I hope I find one when he's here oh god I hope he finds one as well now right I'm going to get some I'm going to get oh god I'm going to have another go it's absolutely red hot but I don't care now I, d I just don't care uh oh here the cows this is trouble right I'm going to pack this lot away before the cows get it see you later chaps it's alright I'll get it bugger off go on go on I shouldn't get pissed off with you look it's off now I'm not running inquisitive that's all Yeah, they're off. What was it? The spark, spark plug. <laughs> Very nice. Bang it in your pocket. <laughs> well done, Rob. <laughs> That's your first decent find out of this field. It's just produced two, two hammers for me <laughs> and a few buttons. <laughs> to start. It's all right, mate. You're, you're getting used to your machine, are you? Yeah. So it just takes a while to get your ear in that's all as soon as you, as soon as you start hitting some good targets you'll get to know the sound yeah. of them and you can bomb that crap I wasn't going to dig that then it's not a 10 minute job learning your machine it doesn't take 10 minutes mate it takes bloody ages sometimes just nice and slow dead low it's lovely here because of, look how short the grass is yeah. dead lucky mate couldn't get any closer you reckon you should be going through three scuff covers a year? That's how low you're supposed to be. Yeah. yeah, scrubbing it across the floor more or less. And try and keep it flat and all when you're. Uh, do you know what I mean? Try and keep it, yeah. keep going one motion. If you if you're bringing it up like that, you start detecting helicopters. <laughs> I mean, what are you looking for? I'm all flying aeroplanes or what? That's it. Nice and slow, overlap them. See how you're walking there mate? Yeah. Right? The way you're walking there, you're walking too quick with it because you're creating a zigzag. Yeah. A Z. Right? So all the gaps in between where your search head has been, you, there's, you, there might be something in there. So, I mean, that's where a lot of people miss stuff. Slow it down a bit and overlap. Imagine, imagine you've got like a set of lines there 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 do you know what i mean and just overlap overlap your last it does take some getting used to mate but if you yeah. will be finding small stuff and lots of it without missing anything that's it that's it so that's a bit better yeah it's patience it's like fishing don't want to be going at 300 miles like you've got like all day do you know what i mean but all day mate no doubt you'll end up on here again some arm of us. If you're not sure of it, dig it. Here. I'll just I'll tell you what. Right. Get used to that sound. Get your head, get your other headphone on your lug all your nutter. <laughs> Right, you're getting used to that sound. That's the sound you want in here. It'd be nice smooth, is it? Mm. Is it a nice smooth, you know, no, no, um, 
what do they call it? It's not breaking up at all, it's just nice. Zzz, zzz, it's quite sharp noise, zzz, that. Yeah. Zzz. Right, well that's what you're looking for, right? If you get any broken noise, broken sounds, bomb it off. Or if you're not sure, dig it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's so, Cause sometimes you might have a little bit of iron on a on a button or something. And it's sort of a breaky signal, but still good, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's worth digging, even if it's crap, it doesn't matter. I've been going too fast, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, you don't need to, it's not a race, mate. You're not, it's not a race, go right slow. And then as soon as you've gone up there that way, just to make sure you haven't missed anything, come back down the same same line. All right. Go on. You'll get used to it. You just got to get your ear in. Just yeah. get your ear in, mate. That's that's. It does take some doing. It was the same for us when we first started, but there was no video or bugger all that we could read or do anything. We, it was just like hit and miss. It's out on that YouTube, mate. Tune in it. If it's there, that should get it, mate. Low and slow. That's the most important thing. Low and slow. All right. All right, cheers, No problem, oh, mate. The rope. It's going nice and slow now. Well, he was. He has little erratic moments. I try to teach him, try to show him anyway. Just keep going slow and low. He hasn't really found anything yet, though. He's not. I think he gets a little bit impatient. It'll come to him though, I think. I think it'll come. And I'd set his machine up. He's been watching YouTube now. Put him on at YouTube and uh, he's been watching them. i to set his machine up, so now he's sorted with that. Oh God, here he come again. So he cuts with these. These have been a pain all day. And I've had some, uh, I've had two hammered coins, mate, and what I thought was going to be another but it turned out to be a button, wait till you see this for a button it's unbelievable, that's it Rob that's it right when this come out of the ground I thought it was a hammered look at that, look at the size of it now I thought that was some kind of hammered you see that? Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah? I'll turn it over. Flaming button. But what about that? Phenomenal. Yeah, I thought that was a hammered coin. That would have been amazing. That would have been one amazing find. Especially on it. Well, how have we missed this in the past? Come and think of it. Not a clue. Not bothered. Uh, Rob's running away from the cows now. You're all right, Rob. He won't do out. Not. Won't do out to you, don't worry. No. You're just nosy. Not nosy, fucking having me. <laughs> Morning. It's all right, get to that wall now. See a lot of walking past you now. Yeah. The walking past you. Are you me up again? That's the bull. That's the main beastie. That's the one that's been causing us most of the grief because it's really, really nosy. It was trying to eat my bag. It's going to get it. It's going to get it. The farmer said I could eat it with a stick as well. It's going to get it. Look, listen to it. Farting and making a noise. See, hey, you sound like my mind lab detector. Go on, shoo. Does it look happy? I don't think it does. I'm not giving way. I'm not giving way, mate. You can go. I don't care, I don't care how aggressive you are. Don't you dare. Don't you slobber over me and you'll know. Go. Right. Well, it's still blisteringly hot. Quarter six. Rob's gone home. Rob's had enough. He's, uh, he did all right though. I don't, he never found anything special. Bits of aluminium, couple of bits of iron, but he's learning the machine, isn't he? So, you know what I mean? The boy's, he's going a lot slower now. And he was when he first got here, talk about missed things. Unreal. But that's how I started, I suppose. We all start the same, we all start somewhere, don't we? I think he enjoyed his day, I said he enjoyed himself anyway. 
But he brought he brought a fork, a little like little fork, not a, not a spade. So he's struggling digging. You see what he had on? He had his little trainer shoes on. That's not not he's not he hasn't got his detectoring head on yet, has he? <clears throat> right. Today's roundup is nothing really special was found after me too hammered, I must admit, but I did seem to find a lot more than Rob did. But I've got to got to know this machine now, so I'm going go through a few bits of crap. Right, first of all, these are the junky, what I would call junky things. Right, I got this looks like sil it's been silvered, but on the other side it looks a bit bronze. I haven't a clue what that is. Someone might be able to help me with that. Not a clue what that is. And our old favourites. Can't wait until the price of aluminium goes up. We're going to be loaded bottle top. Get any hang of them though. Didn't get as many as I thought I would. Bit of silver foil, so that'll throb. That's a bit of leather with a stud going through the middle of it. I thought that was hammered. That is unbelievable. What a button that must have been. If you dug that up, what would you think that was? You're going to think it's hammered, aren't you? Especially when you see that side over just that sticking out. Jeez, excitement. There we go, another... I don't know what that is. Could be a button, could be anything. So, another thing. The old dreaded cow tubes. Uh, that doesn't count. Because that was in with me change. Bit of lead. That is a nail. Dug a nail up. That's the first one of them I dug up. It'd give a sweet signal that. I don't know, it might be something in the middle of it. Shotgun cartridge, only one. That's a bit more of that button. It's broke off. Don't know what that is. It's another thingy. Again, I don't think it's anything special. A bullet, slightly bigger than the ones I've been getting. So, be alright for collecting bullets. Bit of lead dross, a bit more lead. Bit of cow tube, I think that is. Or it could be sweet wrapper, I don't know. Bit more lead, that must be the smallest find of the day. I don't think I've found anything smaller than that for a while. Jesus, that was hard work finding. For the size of that button as well. That for a small button. This e-track is absolutely spot on for small items. I didn't think it'd be, I didn't think, I think, I thought it'd struggle with small things. I don't know why. Don't know, because it's like so big and heavy and robust. You just don't expect it to find the minute things, do you? But it does. And I am so happy about that. That was a, that's a nice little button, look, nice little pattern on the button. I think, I don't know whether it's flowers or what, could be, but it's definitely a button. I thought it was a foreign coin because I brought it up that side first. I thought it was some sort of foreign coin, but it isn't. Here we are, another button, another button. Uh, half a penny, which was nice. Now, this is a suspect hammered. If you look at that round there, that's perfect, isn't it? The only thing is, it's totally worn and that is well battered. But, if you think that's a hammered, say I, because I believe it could be. It's just totally worn away completely, if it is one. But it feels like a hammered, and it's, it, is, it does feel, it's silly to give a cracking silver signal, so I'd say it was silver. Now, back to the modern stuff. 10p, more battery money, yippee. Another button. Oh, hey, what have we got over here? A 20 pence piece, that's 30p in real money. I have now, don't know what that is. I think that's, that's found the other day. That must that was still in my pocket, I think. I don't I never dug that up today. That's still in my pocket. A bit more lead dross. And here are the finds of the day. Which I found, believe it or not, in about the first I don't know, half an hour, twenty minutes of being in the field. If that, I don't know. But 
that is a cracking coin. That is, like, if, if her face would have been better, that would have been spot on. It is spot on to me, like, I love it. I think it's terrific. 15, 71, I think that is. Can't probably sell. I'll know better when I see the playback of the video. But what a cracking coin, right? So that puts my total to number nine with that one, right? Because I've had eight. That's number nine. And then came this, which I managed to live dig. This is another one of them Scottish 20, 20 pence pieces, I think. 20, 20 pence. Which, again, I'm absolutely over the moon with. That's another two hammered. So that now, the e track has now found me. 10, yes, 10 hammered coins since I bought it. And I've been out properly with it for a total of. A total of round about, I would say, a full week. A full week out of the two, I think, in days I've been out. Well, it's however many videos I've made anyway, but I think I've made five now, five or six, maybe seven. Don't know, but that isn't bad going, is it? That's not bad going at all. So, my mate Rob, my new little mate, You have to excuse me now, I'm absolutely knackered. This walking slow and dragging your head low. It's just knack so knackering, isn't it? I can't believe how knackering it is. I have caught the sun because I am burning like a cinder. I don't know what you can see, but I am burning. But I don't care. I don't care. I found hammered. I'm over the moon. I found other bits and bobs. We've been in this field before a few times. He's took the grass off today and within the first, I don't know, 15 minutes, half an hour, first 15 minutes, half an hour, I found two hammered coins. Ow. You can't beat it, can you? You just can't beat this hobby. And they're my favourite coins. That, to me, they're better than Roman coins. Don't know why, but I just think that the workmanship in a hammered coin is terrific. And, the, you know, what they had to go through. And that was, like a penny, was like a day's wage. So... If that's a sixpence, that's like a, nearly a week's wage. That's a week's wage for someone. That would have been a heavy loss in them days, that. Unbelievable. And I've had a really, really, really good week. Absolutely fantastic week. The weather is t so glorious. My wife has let me out because she's gone to uh, the sister-in-law's for a few drinks. Oh, that's all. I shall get back now. I'm, I'm sorry, I bust my mic. My mic spins round now, so we're going to get a bit of wind interference now, aren't we? I'll try and speak a bit louder and a bit closer, but I'm frigging thing. What it is, I put it on the fence, and the cows decided they wanted to eat it. The cows decided they want to eat my bag. And want that bull, big white bugger, nutting my bag all over the place, so I had to leg it across the field and chest him off. Of course, Rob was laughing. I don't think it's funny. So, until next time, which I don't know when it'll be, I don't know if I'll get out tomorrow. If it's like this tomorrow, I don't think so, because I am in, I'm absolutely burning. I am, I am, look, I am burning. Absolutely red, 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 red raw. <laughs> but what a day, and the ground's hardening up as well. That's another, that's another uh, problem we're going to be having before long. The ground's hardening. Now it's turning this grass off, it definitely won't be as soft because the sun's getting to it and it's baking it. I've never known it as hot as this for a long time. Brilliant though, absolutely brilliant. They ain't going to knock it, keep, you keep throwing the sun down, Lord. You keep doing that. Brilliant. Okay, folks, I'm going to go back, have a beer, more than one. Got lots of ice cold stud John Smiths in the fridge. So I'm going to have a few beers and we'll make a video. Out of what I've collected today, I don't even know if it, I don't even know if the microphone was on when I was taping Rob when I was explaining to him about low slow and doing his settings and everything for him for his uh, machine. I hope it was. But he's off to buy a spade, and he'd love to come again. I know he would, but I know he's been to Lindell and asked for some land, so I'm hoping I get an invite to his place now. 
I mean, there's some idea, I proved it, you just say never found any. But he's, he's learnt something and he enjoyed himself, which is the main thing. Right then, folks, I'll see you very shortly on some field somewhere. So, for now, this is Dave signing off. Thanks for watching, folks.